So here's a look at the other two buildings that go on top of Rona's Pawn Shop and that restaurant. Looks like this is actually Kristen's bedroom. That's what it said in the book. Oh, someone said it online. And maybe like a little tea area. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll move this one aside and we'll take a look at this. This thing may be small, but it has so many Easter eggs. Well, first off, we got a really nice Ninjago like sign right there, which is pretty nicely done. We really love these turquoise blue colors. Looks like we got the flowers right there. And nothing else going on over there. But if we take a look inside, there's. Oops. There we go. Take a look. There are some. There's a lot of Easter eggs in here. Uh, that car right there. It's supposed to represent the X1 Ninja Charger from the Legacy. There's like basically like a lot of micro figures, uh, micro sets. Uh, here's a look at. There's actually a little poster right here. Uh, this fun fact. This was actually a. Hang on, let me. This was actually part. This post. This was actually based on a real poster. It was released as part of the Lego Ninjago movie promo, so that's pretty nice. What I also like, there's a little lava lamp right there. And I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a micro figure of Zane. I'm guessing. Um, I don't know why, but this sign. I just keep on it off. Flip over here. This is actually a micro size scale of the Villager's Keeper. It looks like the Cavalang Sea Battle. I did do the review on both of these large, the actual sets, so you can check those out right now. Um, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Some people think that's supposed to be like the uh, Jungle Dragon. I'm not entirely sure. Love the bed sheet though. These are actually stickers in here. Very nice ninja stickers. Uh, there's actually a, another Easter egg that, for this room. Um, it's not actually in the room. It's actually um on here. The uh, balcony for the second floor. And underneath it's actually a... Let me try to flip it around very carefully without breaking anything. So, this right here is actually a tiny version of Jay Stormfighter. How cute is that? Okay, Lego, you had completely outdone yourself. Putting actual, like, Lego thing, like, Lego sets into. Like, micro little sets like these into, like, really big sets you outdone yourself. We're going to be taking a look at this, um, take a look at second floor, so hang on for that. Hang on, guys. Next up we have, um, I really don't know what this is. Um, my guess is this, like, a little, like, tea area, like, for... Someone wants to have tea. There are some nice stickers in here. And this is kind of like similar. These these are sort of Easter eggs. This is basically like... this. Is, these are kind of like the like like the plot of Ninjago where Wu told Kai the story of the Golden Weapons the first and the first Benjitsu Master. Uh, there's a little teapot right there. I wonder if that's his pot. And maybe one of these is Chip. Um... If you know what I'm talking about. A big shout out to you Disney fans. Uh, this door. Doors can open. And looks like there's a little plan right there. So. That's very nicely done. This part. Uh, it. Actually. Uh, uh, this actually can't. Uh, open. I guess. I don't know why. But it's on a. Like a, like a hinge right there. So very nicely done. So we could just close it, close it back up again. And now we're going to take a look. So next up we're going to be taking a look at the second floor. Which holds some other interesting buildings. So let's take a look at those right now. 